Parenting might seem like an uphill battle, but just remember, if you don't let your kid chase a Komodo dragon, you're already doing better than the Thornberries. Where were the parents? Buckle in everyone, because less than five seconds into this episode of the Wild Thornberries, Eliza's already feet away from a highly deadly lizard. So where were the parents? Oh, over here, literally watching as Donnie rubs a toxic plant all over himself. Nigel's actually explaining that it's toxic while he's doing it, and they still don't stop him. Toxicondendron venesis flua. Anyway, Eliza comes back to the convy and is surprised to find her homeschooling teacher, Mr. Culpepper. Wait, did they not know he was coming? How do you just pop in on the Thornberries? Even if you knew they were on Rinka Island, they're constantly moving. How would you ever find them? So Nigel and Marianne do some good parenting and bring Donnie to a doctor. He only needs a doctor because of their poor parenting, granted. But hey, we've got to give him some credit. They even leave their kids with a responsible adult. But don't worry, Marianne is sure to tell Mr. Culpepper this. Don't worry about the children, they're all right. Excuse me? Look, we know Eliza's 12 years old and all, alone in the hostile jungle of Rinka Island, and we know 10 minutes ago she was out looking for a highly deadly Komodo dragon. But whatever you do, don't worry about her. We certainly don't, and definitely don't keep an eye on her. Oh no, she'll be fine! You worry too much, Culpepper. The last thing we want is any adult supervision here. Anyway, Culpepper's pretty ticked off about Eliza's latest assignment. Assignments, not because they were poorly written or anything, but because they were waterlogged, bitten, and smelling of the jungle. Now there's a good teacher for you. Eliza, your paper's well written and all, but how does it smell? Yep, yep, just as I suspected, of the jungle. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna have to take some points off. And then he does this oddly dramatic blackmail thing. I mean, he turns his back and everything. All this jungle business. And then he turns around quickly to deliver the dramatic line. May not be the best thing for you. And then gets all in her face for the final blow. I was afraid I was going to have to tell your parents that you may be better suited to a more structured school environment. I mean, you're a sixth grade teacher, not some sort of super villain. But as much as Culpepper is painted like the bad guy here, he is the only one trying to stop Eliza from getting into potentially deadly situations. Her parents couldn't care less, so I'm holding out hope. Maybe Culpepper will turn out to be the voice of reason. So he makes Eliza write a paper about a US president, and Eliza chooses every 12-year-old's favorite president, Martin Van Buren. When Debbie comes out and tries to get his attention, and the second Culpepper turns to leave, Eliza starts packing her bag. Hold on there, Eliza. Can't you write about Van Buren for like one more second? The guy's still two feet away from you. He's gonna notice you're leaving. Oh, what's that? He didn't notice. I stand corrected. And she's right back to hunting a Komodo dragon. Everywhere she goes, there are signs of how dangerous this thing is. Portions of the jungle are utterly destroyed. Darwin certainly tries to talk her out of it. Wasn't there something you were supposed to be doing back at camp? And these birds repeatedly tell her how it eats anything it can get to. Well, this bird tells her. That dragon would have eaten us both if we hadn't gotten into that tree. This bird is too busy sobbing over the fact that the dragon ate her unhatched eggs. Well And Eliza's still just like, I want to meet this guy. Even this water buffalo seems to think she's lost her mind. Okay, wondering where the parents are at this point? Remember when they just stood there while Donnie played with the toxic plant? Well, now they're just standing there while he eats a random caterpillar. Wait, scratch that. They're encouraging him while he eats a random caterpillar. Nice to see you haven't lost your appetite, Donnie. So Eliza finally finds this thing, and it is menacing. Not sure what's up with its teeth. Anyway, Eliza even looks scared, but for some reason she still decides to approach it, and big surprise, it wants to eat them. So tell me, Eliza, now what? I mean, what was your plan here? You were warned this thing would eat you. In fact, it seemed like you knew from the start that it would eat you, and you saw countless signs that it would want to eat you. Now when it says it will eat you, you're gonna act all surprised? Gotta come up with a plan on the spot? I mean, your parents host a freaking nature show. They're not gonna teach you how to respect nature? My parents don't host a nature show, and even I know this is a bad idea. So they run for it, bump into Mr. Culpepper who has no clue there's any danger, even though Eliza's screaming for her life, and a 150 pound lizard is making 150 pound lizard sounds. So like any normal teacher, he chases her through the jungle because she's not doing her homework, and this happens. Now he's being chased too. And his priorities are still all screwed up because Eliza uses her paper to literally save their lives. And he's just mad she ruined her schoolwork. That was my paper. Eliza? I mean, she only wrote four words on it anyway. President Van Buren is. Is what? Seriously, the smartest character so far is the chimp. And they didn't even give him any paper to breathe with. He just has to hold his breath. And now that Culpepper's seen Eliza getting chased by a killer beast and learned she's in life-threatening situations on the reg, he decides that maybe jungle life is right for her. That was incredible! 
incredible, Eliza! Come on, Culpepper, we thought you were the voice of reason. Then to top it all off, he decides that instead of writing about Martin Van Buren, he'll accept a recounting of Eliza's recent traumatic near-death encounter with a Komodo dragon. Van Buren, near-death experience with a Komodo dragon, eh, what's the difference? I mean, what subject is this for? And what do the parents say when they return? Their daughter was missing, and now the adult she was with looks all beat up and everything. They must be worried sick. Want to come and see some absolutely smashing mold? Nah, nobody cares. Nick Rewind is all about classic Nickelodeon. Want more? Like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nick Rewind channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video.